Doing a little intercoastal dredging here. Gosh, you wouldn't want to pass these guys at night. That would be so scary. We just hit one of your cables or something, man. Dredge guys. I don't know what we ran into or what we're doing here. Oh, so I hit ground then. Okay. experience it was pretty intense honestly. it was intense it was a dead stop man at eight knots which was gnarly and highly uncomfortable oh i'm shaking our nerves oh, your shaking. nerves are shot. shot you were pissed at them oh dude because they're like i mean how would i supposed to know i'm supposed to come two inches behind them so luckily we only ran aground instead of hitting one of the dredging cables. So with that being said, we got off our aground-ness and started heading for an anchorage in between West Palm Beach and St. Augustine. So we're about to pull into our first anchorage and it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. It looks pretty private, and uh, it's gonna be fun. We're sitting in our first ever anchorage here, right after we uh, smashed ground, which is not fun. I think the boat's okay though, it's just tough. The anchorage is very pretty though, other than Kavachi over here, but he's all right. It is a beautiful little anchorage though. It's our own little piece of waterfront property. <laughs> Camera. No more behind the camera nonsense. No more little itty bitty video. Mark! But I feel alright I feel alright I feel alright But I feel alright First bridge of the morning Woo. What you waiting on John? I'm waiting on the bridge here To let us through They have a uh, Strict 8 a.m. deadline. And it's 7.40. It's 7.40, so... It's not such a bad view to look at, though. No, I'm glad I got extra early this morning to wait on the bridge, though. Yeah. Oh, look at the little dinghy. I don't know how this bridge was. See, we weren't really planned on the intercoastal, so I'm not really planned out for all this. I just kind of winging it. Yeah. It's worked a little better up until this bridge. True. An iconic moment. We are going to pass a boat. This is the first time this has happened for us. Everybody's always faster than us. We're going to pass a boat. Oh, wow. This is the first time. We're always getting passed. Whoa, this is crazy. I didn't even think this was possible. Merry Christmas! What? First pass ever. But I feel alright. I feel alright. I 
feel alright, but I feel alright. The sun is going down. I'm trying to find an anchorage here in Cape Canaveral. It's been a long day of motoring. We're at like 10 or so hours at this point. I think I'm gonna try to go right up till dark. There should be an anchorage up here. On like the left side of the intercoastal. These are all pretty big bays. Um, they have about six to seven feet of water in them, so we should be able to sneak into an anchorage somewhere. Um, you can see how big these bays are. And there are basically like three more big bays like this coming up. But I'm definitely ready to rest a little and or get back in the ocean. It's uh, better all day, it's just a little rough. Right here, not as pretty as last night, but we're tired. It'll do. It'll do. And I got mashed potatoes coming. Nice. I, uh, I watched the guy rowing through the intercoastal waterway today on this rowboat. And I've been wanting to get back in shape and do some working out anyway. So I figured what a cooler way to get a workout in than to go row the dinghy around the anchorage and check it out. But I feel alright The night before beautiful out here. I love how the sun goes across the water. I really have to say all these hours out here and we're only just getting started. I mean it's it's almost life changing. It really is. It changes your perspective of things like life is slower. I mean I can imagine even two weeks ago. I mean this wouldn't have sounded fun to me but I really really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed getting out here and just paddling around. Um, and on a funner note, it's amazing how effective these little paddles are. <clears throat> I have hauled out, so you can see that's our boat. That's Freedom right over there. Went down to that rusty boat. Went around here. There's actually a boat landing and a dog park, which I'd like to take Marley to, but I think we're going to call it tonight. Um, I'm getting a little tired anyway. And I uh, want to get a good night's sleep. Another big run tomorrow. They're eating the cauliflower. Check this out, guys. Look at them. There are little catfish. Look at the little catfish. I knew it was catfish. Whoa. There's so many of them. Look at all the catfish. Look at all the catfish. Look at them all. You guys see those catfish? That's awesome. All right, guys. So, um... Basically, we are right here in a little anchorage right near Cocoa Beach and Rockledge. Um, I was basically just going to show you how I find my next anchorage. I don't know if it's considered right, but I basically just go on Navionics. I go down somewhere around 50 miles. So I figure we can do that in a day, no problem. So, guys, uh, 6.30 a.m. another early morning on the intercoastal here. We are in Cocoa Beach. Well, right outside of Cocoa Beach in the, in the intercoastal waterway. And we're about to pull up anchor and head down towards Fort Pierce. Hopefully we'll make it. It's like 60 miles. There's not really any good anchor just down there. But we'll figure it out when we get there. I haven't really planned out for this, so kind of just winging it completely. I'm a bottle of gin. A bottle of gin. The night before last, I got loaded. I'm a bottle of gin. A bottle of gin. But I feel all right I feel all right I feel
feel alright. Well, I feel alright. I'm gonna paint my picture, paint myself in blue, red, and black, and gray. All of the beautiful colors are very, very meaningful. Yeah, well, you know, gray is my favorite color. I felt so symbolic yesterday. If I knew Picasso. <laughs> That's definitely going in the video. Let me see it. No, it looks cute. Go, keep going. Right now it's 4.08. Um, sunset is at 5.30. And it looks like we're going to get there right around 5.20, 5.30. So I think we're going to make it no problem. Christmas Eve, everybody. Happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve for Marley. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Stevie's doing some drawing. That's mine. It's a work in progress. It's pretty sick, though. Um, I think we're going to cook some dinner. Just kind of cook what we have. We're at an anchorage here in Fort Pierce. Not really missing a whole lot. Not the nicest anchorage. I mean, there's some cool little Christmas lights over there. You can't really see them. Big bridge right there. Little current. But I think we're good. That's really all that's going on. I think we're gonna uh call out on the filming tonight much love everybody no more filming I don't feel like filming anymore today oh. all right Merry Christmas Eve see you tomorrow see you tomorrow much love that concludes episode three thank you for watching make sure to join us next week as we go to West Palm uh, much love freedom family and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and become a patron thanks so much